as you know, the FAA considers drones to be aircraft. And just like other types of aircraft, most SUAS must be registered with the FAA before they can be operated into the national aerospace system. And SUAS must be registered if it weighs more than 0.55 pounds. That's a little more than a half pound. And it must be registered whether it's operated under Part 107 or as a model aircraft. Either way, it's got to be registered. And it must be registered by the owner or a person at least 13 years old, if the owner is not at least 13 years old. And that person must be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. Now, you can go to this website to do the registration. And by the way, that registration must be renewed every three years. Now, an SUAS operation requires a foreign aircraft permit if the SUAS is registered in a foreign country or owned or controlled or operated by someone who's not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. Now, once the aircraft is registered and before it's operated, it must be marked to show that it's registered with the FAA and the registration marking must be a unique number. It'll either be uh, the a number that they issue you or the, uh, the uh, serial number of the aircraft. So, and, and they'll authorize that at the time of registration if that's going to be the case. But that number must be legible and durable, and you must use methods like engraving, a permanent marker, a self-adhesive label, and it's either got to be visible all the time or accessible if it can be gotten to uh, without using tools. It can be in a compartment. Now, an FAA airworthiness certificate is not required for an SUAS, but an SUAS must be maintained in a condition for safe operation, and the remote PIC is responsible to prior to each flight to ensure that it is in condition for safe operation. And additionally, no one may continue an operation if they know the aircraft is in no longer in condition for safe operation operation.